Yo, what's up guys, Future Artist here, and I'm back, and this time we got a quick motion tracking tutorial, how to motion track in 3D and After Effects, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to uh, track the camera, and then add in text and make the text 3D. For this uh, tutorial, you guys are going to need to plug in uh, Element 3D. Uh, you guys, I'm gonna probably link the website of where you can get it. It's, it costs, it's actually uh, not free, but you know, I'll just link it or you can Google it. <coughs> but I mean, uh, first, I'm, I'm gonna like show a little example right now on what, an example of motion track, motion track video or whatever, cinematic. Alright guys, so we're going to do something similar to that, and I'm going to teach you guys, uh, first what you got to do is make sure in your cinematic that only the camera's moving. If there's something moving, like for example, this guy moves a little bit, like right around, actually he doesn't really move, but if something is moving around, like a lot, like too much motion is happening while the camera's moving around, the motion track might not be that well. So make sure you get a good steady, um, cinematic without anything moving around like a player running I mean the player could be moving around or whatever like there could be movement but just not too much because it might mess up the motion track but anyways first what you gotta do is right click on your cinematic and over here you see track camera you're gonna click on that and what happens is it'll bring up this uh... <coughs> hold up one second it's taking a little bit to load It'll bring up this little place right here. I'm gonna cancel this for right now, uh, but it'll already start tracking it and stuff. But um, over here it says uh, analyze, cancel, all that crap. Uh, what this does is it goes frame by frame. First it analyzes and goes frame by frame and tries to find like like a bunch of markers and stuff to uh, you can motion track on. And I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna uh, um, track this quickly. But um, I'm gonna pause the video because it's gonna take a little bit. All right, guys, I'm about done. It's been taking a little while, but when you're doing this, make sure that you won't have any uh, programs in the background or something to slow down the process, or like just let it be alone. Let it have the most RAM it can have to track. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, it's still analyzing now. It's gonna solve after it uh, analyzes all the frames. This cinematic had like 809 frames, so it took a while. It took about a minute and a half. <clears throat> It'll depend on how fast your computer is. My computer has 4 gigs of RAM, and it does pretty fine. But, um... Sometimes, the uh, solving camera might fail if there's like some odd type of movement or whatever, like I said, so... Yeah. Let's just wait for this to finish up, and if you guys can hear my fan, I'm sorry about that, because this is pretty intense on the computer. Alright guys, there we go, we got a bunch of markers here, and uh, not markers, but like track points here and stuff, and now we can uh, find the location we want the text to be, and in the little preview I showed, the text was right about here, like right here, so what I'm going to do is just like, it doesn't really matter in the beginning where you place it, because Element 3D for some reason changes the location anyways. But I'm just gonna place it uh, on this guy's body. You can click and hold and try and get a track point from that, or you can like select one or whatever. But anyways, um, I'm just undo that so I can tell you guys what I just did. Well, I'm just gonna um, show you guys that again. I'm just gonna click and hold, and then once I get a um, freaking target, uh, I can right click it and click create text and camera, or you can just uh, find like move around and get uh, target itself and create text and camera okay so now it created a 3d camera uh, track camera and a text uh, object and what I'm gonna do is change the text to what I want it to be and for this I'm gonna change it to uh, motion and change your uh, font or whatever to whatever you want it to be and I think for this one, I'm gonna keep it at Voyage Fantastic Straight. I've been using that font for a little bit, but it's getting kind of weird, so I'm gonna stop. 
But anyways, um, now that you have this, what you can now do is find a part where you want it to... Actually, you know what, I'll show you guys the uh, element part first. What you're going to do is uh, right click on here, on an empty space, go to new, solid, then you're going to get a black, and make sure the solid is black, I don't think it really matters, but just, anyways, just put it to black solid, and you can rename this to element, so this is going to be the element layer, you don't really have to, and now, the screen is just blank, I'm, you're going to, I can quickly fix this, let me just, uh, open up my effects and presets, you can find element through here, on video core pilot, or you can go up to effect and find it, but, okay, make sure your element solid is selected, and go up to effect, video core pilot, and element. Sorry about that, I had to uh, reopen uh, After Effects. I don't know why, but after I add elements, sometimes it crashes. But let's get back onto the tutorial. Um, after you added the element effect, what you're gonna go do now is uh, wait, hold up, you gotta make sure you're uh, to make this pop, you gotta make sure you're on the element. What you're gonna do now is click on custom layers, the little triangle next to it, custom text and mass, and click none the path layer one and change it from none to motion or whatever your text file was and go down to custom texture maps and what this is is you can make like L, uh, reflections and textures to be on your uh, text and I'm gonna put a reflection of uh, right here so how we're gonna do that is duplicate your uh, uh, the cinematic and just command D and then right click on it go up to time and freeze frame make sure you're on the frame where you want it the reflection to be and this is where I want it to be and now you can just hide this layer doesn't really matter and you can go back to element and choose what you just uh, made as the reflection which is the fifth layer and now I'm going to close this up and click on scene setup and what this does is brings up the interface and now you can make your uh, text in the 3d by clicking extrude and now it has a 3D text right here, motion, custom path one. That's what we put the um, text on. And now you can click on presets and you have a bunch of bevels and materials you can mess around with and use. For me, I have a preset called clean style where it looks pretty clean, but um, you guys uh, won't have this. Um, if I can try and find a way to make this for you guys as well, I will. But um, anyways, just pick a preset bevel style looks pretty good this is one of my favorites uh, style and it's pretty good but um now how to add the environment is uh, the reflection is to go in environment click that and click on this drop uh, triangle right here to drop down a uh, bunch of uh, reflections here and environments and we're gonna pick uh, the custom layer one that we picked uh, when we freeze the frame I'm gonna click OK on that and now the, um, if you if you notice it a little bit, uh, it's a little bit of the reflection of that uh, cinematic right there. And I'm gonna make this uh, show up better by adding in uh, maybe a chrome as the um, layer right here. And how you can do that is just click and drag into the extrusion model. And now, as you guys can see, you can see the reflection pretty well. Trees, all that crap. And you can click environment to see the environment like better or whatever and how to make the uh, reflection uh, show up more or less is what you're gonna do is click on the material that you want to change around and like scroll down or scroll up until you find reflection and mess around with intensity if you put it at zero there's gonna be no reflection but if you put it up it's gonna be a really well reflection uh, don't don't put it to too high of an amount because then it might look really messy like here <coughs> sorry about that you could put it on something like 100 or 200, depends on what you like. And you can put the reflection on other objects as well, on the uh, text. But um, yeah, I'm not going to go too deep into how to mess around and uh, with the reflections and stuff. But yeah, um, you can mess around with the text, uh, bevel and stuff. You can mess around with the extrusion of it. And shoot it up. Make it all really big if you want, but um, yeah, I wouldn't suggest that. I'll just put it back to 0.8 or whatever it was in. Let's see, I think it was a one. Yeah, well, this looks fine, but um, yeah, once you uh, mess around with this and do all your motion tracking crap, you're just gonna click OK. And if you're including two texts in one uh, 
cinematic. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that after I quickly, uh, I'm gonna actually show that too. But, um, now that you, uh, made your text in the cinematic, it might not pop up because, uh, it just puts a random spot. And for mine, it's at the beginning right here. And like I told you guys, it's not gonna be at the same spot as your text layer you put. But you can fix that. What I'm gonna do is just click on element to fix that group one. Particle look and particle replicator. I opened those two because I'm gonna mess around with the particle size, which makes the text larger or smaller. And what I'm gonna do to, to put it back to where I want it to is mess around with the position Z and then move around in the cinematic to make sure if it's where you want it to be. And this looks to be alright. I don't know. Now I'm gonna move it to the left a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Uh, it looks a little bit too far away from the guy. Let's put it closer a little bit. Uh, move it up here. I think this is fine. Let me move it here. Mm. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, but all we gotta do is just uh, make the text bigger. So I'm gonna put it like 30. Oh, that's too big. I'm gonna put maybe 25. And move it a little bit to the left. There we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, that looks really good. Um, now I'm gonna teach you guys how to make uh, multiple text layers uh, 3d in one composition um, let's say we had another text uh, let me see let me just add second because it's a second text layer or whatever and what you guys can do now is let me just close this up go back to element go all the way down back to the custom layers and go back to custom text and paths masks and for path layer 2, you're going to pick the second text you made, which for me was second. And I'm going to go back to scene setup and click extrude again. And this time, it's still got the same text. So how you're going to fix that is go to custom paths and click custom path 2 because that was a text we picked. And if you want to copy what you made for this text, you could just duplicate model. And then like, let's delete the first thing we made and then add um, custom path 2. So it has the exact same uh, bevel preset or whatever you made it as. Or you can just make it yourself. Custom Path 2 and mess around and make another type of bevel for it. And now, if you click OK right now, it's still not going to show the second uh, text. Because we need to go back and make that as uh, Group 2. So what I'm going to do is uh, go over here, and right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, and if you uh, move it around, it's going to have more numbers. We're going to unselect 1 and select 2, and so this is going to be uh, group 2 now, and make sure to still stay as group 1. Click OK, and now we have the second text here, and I can just move around that, that as well. just going to close this over here and go to group 2. Particle look, particle replicator, and move around a second text as well. And I'm, for this one, I'm gonna make it uh, maybe above the um, motion text. And oh, I forgot to uh, hide this uh, this layer right here. But I'm okay. Let's get back to the um, thing we were doing. I'm gonna make it close to where it was. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the positions that it had, and then move it around after copy and pasting. I'm gonna Command C, Command V on the um, Oops. and <coughs> move it up okay this is a uh, fine but I just need to uh, make the text larger and move it up I'm gonna make this uh, 20 I think that's fine yeah so uh, there you go guys that's um, how you motion track 3d text in after effects and if you guys want a more advanced uh, t more advanced tutorials on uh, uh, more stuff like how to animate the text to pop up like on most of my edits and stuff just uh, make sure you say that in the description and after a certain amount of likes I'm gonna release another tutorial on how to do that well, let me yeah, guys hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, comment what you guys want to see if there's anything else you want to see in tutorials and um, yeah, um, I'm going to put a description of uh, one of the CC packs I made for Ghost. Make sure to check that out as well if you're editing Ghost. Uh, but yeah, guys. Um, see ya.